I've got a pain in my calf muscle now, but when I was walking up there further along, I'd just started walking and I didn't have any pain. The reason I didn't have any pain was that although the blood supply to my calf muscles is limited, it was enough. There was enough oxygen getting to my calf muscles to allow aerobic metabolism to carry on. But then as I carried on walking and I put a greater exercise demand on my calf muscles and therefore a greater oxygen demand, my calf muscles ran out of oxygen and I started limping. I was getting pain. I was getting pain because the muscles had to change from aerobic metabolism to anaerobic metabolism. And in anaerobic metabolism, you get the progressive accumulation of lactic acid. Lactic acid in the muscle causes the pain that we refer to as cramp. So to begin with, I was not limping. Later on, I was limping. We call this type of pain intermittent claudication. Now, Claudius was a Roman emperor and apparently, <laughs> apparently, he used to limp. So after this, people started calling limping claudication. Now when we say claudication, we actually mean the pain. The pain caused by the accumulation of lactic acid as a result of anaerobic metabolism, as a result of ischemia to the limb muscle. But now I've stopped for a while, and even though the blood supply to my leg is limited, it's caught up again and fresh oxygenated blood has reached the relatively hypoxic muscle. The fresh oxygenated blood has oxidized the lactic acid. In other words, my muscle was metabolizing and accumulating an oxygen debt. Now the blood supply over a period of time has paid that oxygen debt back. That means the pain in my calf muscle has now gone because the lactic acid has now been removed. So I can now start walking again. The only question is, of course, how far can I walk before I get the pain again, before the muscle runs out of oxygen? Because when that happens, I'll get the pain again, I'll start limping and I'll have to stop. I've got an intermittent ischemic pain on exercise. I've got intermittent claudication.